Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have learnt about the basic concept of first order reaction. In this lecture, we will learn how to solve different problem based on those concepts. So, question number one is for a first order reaction A to B, the reaction rate at reactant concentration of 0 0.01 molar is found to be 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 mole liter inverse second inverse. Then calculate the half life of this reaction. We know that the first order reaction for a first order reaction rate is equal to rate constant into concentration of the reactant. So, what is the rate? Rate is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 mole liter inverse second inverse is equal to K into concentration 0, 0.0 m molar means mole liter inverse. So, the value of k will be k is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 upon 0 0.01 second or the value of k will be equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 second inverse. And we know that the T half means half life of a first order reaction is related to the rate constant like as T half is equal to 0 0.693 upon K. So, the T half will become 0 0.693 upon 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, that will become 3, 4, 7 second. So, the half life of this reaction will be 3, 47 second. Question number 2, the reactant concentration in a first order reaction was 7.3 molar after 45 seconds and 8.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar after 65 seconds. What is the rate constant for this reaction? So, to solve this type of question where two concentrations at two different time intervals are given, we should follow the formula K is equal to 2.303 upon T2 minus T1 into log C1 upon C2 2.303 upon 65 minus 45 into log 7.30 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 8.70 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, this will be equal to 2.303 upon 20 into log 7.30 minus log 8.7.
So solving this equation, we will get k is equal to 0 0.106 second inverse. Question number three, a first order reaction has a specific rate of 10 to the power minus 2 second inverse. How much time would it take for 20 gram of this reaction to reduce to 5 gram? To solve this type of question, we should follow the formula 2 to the power n is equal to a0 upon a, where a0 is initial amount or initial concentration. A is the amount or concentration at time t and N is equal to capital T upon T half where T is the total time and T half is half life of the reaction. So in the given problem Two to the power n is equal to what is the value of a0? a0 is equal to 20 upon value of a is equal to 5. So 2 to the power n will be equal to 4, or we can write 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 2 means value of n is equal to 2. So putting the value of n in this equation, we will get 2 is equal to capital T upon T half or we can write T is equal to 2 into T half. And one more information which has been given in this problem is that the specific rate of the reaction is 10 to the power minus 2. A specific rate means rate constant. So the value of k is equal to point value of rate is uh, k is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 second inverse. So if the value of k is 2 to the uh, 10 to the power minus 2 second, the value of t half will become T half is equal to 0.693 divided by k that will be equal to 0.693 divided by 10 to the power minus 2 which will be equal to 69.3 second. So if the T half is 69.3 second then the value of t will be equal to t will be equal to 2 into 69.3 that will be equal to 138.6 second. Question number 4. Decomposition of H2O2 follows first order kinetics. In 50 minutes, the concentration of H2O2 decreases from 0.5 molar to 0.125 molar. When the concentration of H2O2 reaches 0.5 molar, what would be the rate of formation of O2? In the previous problem, we have seen that 2 to the power n is equal to a upon a0 upon a where a0 is the initial concentration a is the concentration at time t so we can put in this reaction 2 to the power n is equal to 0 0.5 upon 0 0.125 that will become 2 to the power n is equal to 4 so n will be equal to 2. We also know that capital T upon 
t half is equal to n so t half will be equal to capital T upon n or we can write 50 upon 2 is equal to 25 minutes. For the first order reaction, we know that K is equal to 0 0.693 upon T half. So the K will be equal to 0 0.693 upon 25 minute inverse. The rate of decomposition of H2O2, D concentration of H2O2 upon DT, this will be equal to K into concentration of H2O2. That will be equal to 0 0.693 upon 25 multiplied by 0 0.05. From this equation, we can see that the rate of formation of O2 is half of the rate of decomposition of H2O2. So, rate of formation of O2 d O2 upon dt will be equal to half that will be equal to 1 upon 2 into 0 0.693 upon 25 into 0 0.05 that will be equal to 6.93 into 10 to the power minus 4.